Guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the winter tire options that you have for your Brompton. Or should I say the winter tire option because I've only found one option for winter tires for my Brompton. And that is the Schwalbe Winter or Schwalbe Marathon Winter. Guys, I've had my share of problems with these tires. But in this video, we're gonna be answering some very fundamental questions. One, are these tires any good? Two, do they actually do what they're intended to do? And three, are they even worth getting for your Brompton? So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the problems I've had with these tires, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna try them on some ice and see if they actually do what they're supposed to do. They do a really good job at keeping the bike lane clean over here, don't they? Well, it looks like for the most part, the roads are fairly dry. Um, there are those slick spots, but I think we can rock the Brompton tomorrow. I'm gonna probably go ahead and ride that bike and get off this clunky piece of crap. I don't like riding this bike at all. I feel like I'm riding a bicycle that's frame is made out of candy canes. You ride it so easy because you think you're gonna break the damn thing. Now see the city streets perfectly fine for the most part. You do have spots here and there, but the neighborhoods, they don't solve the neighborhoods at all. So what has happened over the last couple of days is cars have driven on that snow and they've packed it down into solid sheets of ice. Most of the neighborhoods still are completely snow covered, but they're not snow covered anymore. They're completely ice covered. So I figured that would give us a good chance to test out the Schwalbe winter tires on the Brompton. Okay guys, I picked up my burrito. Now it is time to head back to the house and uh, we're gonna switch out the front Brompton tire with a Schwalbe winter studded tire, which comes with some caveats. Some caveats that I'll explain here in a little bit. Okay, we're riding the Brompton tomorrow, so we got some work to do and we need a few things first. So there's a few things we're gonna need for this project. We're gonna need last season's Schwalbe Winter Studded Snow Tire. We're going to need some double-sided 3M tape. We're gonna need some black duct tape or any color you want. And we're gonna need my burrito because I'm hungry. I know what you're thinking. Some of you are going, what do you need that stuff for? I thought you were just gonna put your studded snow tire on the front of your Brompton. Let me explain. Guys, as you can see, this tire is nowhere near wore out. And if you actually look at the studs, they're not wore out either. So this tire doesn't have that much use on it. Now check this out. You see those holes in the tire itself? Ooh, I wonder what those came from. Hmm. They're actually ripping through the casing of the tire. That's the problem with these Schwalbe winter studded tires. You can't really roll on them. These things you would think are just designed to put on your bicycle, roll the whole winter. When the winter's over, take them off and put your regular Schwalbe's on there. You can't do that with these. Now, if you're one of those people that just ride your bike maybe once a weekend, that's four times a month, you get very occasional use. Yeah, put these on your bike, leave them on the whole winter. You barely ride your bike, good for you. But I am a person that rides my bike all the time. I put a lot of miles on my bike every single day, but I cannot roll these all winter. I cannot roll them because if I do, what you just saw with the studs starting to poke through, that happens after a very short period of time. That means if I mount this tire on the bicycle as it is right now, my tire is going to go flat because those studs are going to poke a hole in my tube. Lovely. That's where this stuff comes in. We, we are going to build a liner for this because I want, you know, I never really sat and tested these things out. I never really did the testing on it to see if they actually do their job. Are they even worth putting on your bike in the first place? That's what I want to find out tomorrow. There's huge sheets of ice through the neighborhoods that I have to go through to get to work. And we're going to put this thing on there. And some of you are going, Brian, why don't you just buy a new one instead of using last season's you know, Schwalbe Marathon Winter. Well, there's a reason for that, guys. I don't want to spend the massive amount of money it costs to buy one of these just to do a video, just for testing purposes, because I don't like these. I used to have these on my bigger bike. I didn't like them then. They cost flats. 
you couldn't roll on them for very long. It was just a pain in the butt. They were more trouble than they're worth. That's my official opinion. They're more trouble than they're worth. But do they work? That's the big question. Do these things actually do the job? Are they going to keep you from falling on ice? I want to find that out because I never really paid attention. You know, I'm very careful on ice. I rarely slip and fall. And when I do, I usually record it so I can show you guys. So was it some sort of placebo effect where I was rolling on these and thought they were actually doing something when they really weren't doing much of anything? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. But I don't want to get a flat on the way to work because I don't know about you guys, but it sucks changing a flat in negative six degrees Celsius weather. It sucks because your fingers go numb, you start freezing because you're not generating the heat. So we're gonna fix this tire to last the trip to work. And then I'm gonna take it off at work and I'm gonna put my regular Schwabby Marathon back on it because I don't wanna roll this for any longer than I have to. First off, anybody who's ever slid out on a bicycle before, and believe me, I've done it quite a few times. I've recorded it quite a few times. Every time I've ever slid out on a bicycle, it's been a front tire washout. <laughs> Every time I've slid in the rear, I always kept the bike upright. A rear tire slide out is very easy to recover and it's very easy to keep upright, as long as your front tire is planted in place. But if your front tire washes out, it's game over, you're going down. So that is where you want your traction, okay? You want your traction on the front tire. And the front tire on a Brompton, as you guys know, is easy to take on and off, okay? It's not like the rear tire where you have to take off the tensioner, you gotta take off the chain, you gotta take off the connection for the rear internal hub, all that nonsense. If you're gonna roll these, don't bother putting them on the rear of your Brompton. You don't really need it, trust me. You will slide a little bit in the rear, but you can recover that very easy. The front is where you want your studded snow tire. With that being said, the other reason why I would not put a studded snow tire on your Brompton is for this reason right here. You see when you got it folded up, you see how close that gets to the frame? And now imagine you had your studded snow tire on there. Lovely, I really want nice studs digging into my frame. You really don't want to put a studded snow tire where you're contacting the frame in several different places, gouging your frame. It's not worth it. It just means that you can't fold your bike unless you put something in between the frame and the tire. Guys, that's not worth it. Trust me, you don't need a rear studded snow tire. You don't, okay? Your regular tire will do fine. Okay guys, let's build a liner. First thing you wanna do is you wanna open up your tire somewhat like this. It's good to have a spreader or something, but I don't have one. And you're gonna to wanna to put this two-sided tape. Now this is double-sided, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is put the roll inside the tire itself. You're gonna to wanna to, you're gonna to wanna to undo some of it like that. And you're going to want to stick it to the inside like this. And then just roll it. Roll it around like that. Just cut the excess off. Like that. And then work it around and make sure it sticks to the inside of this tire. Now that the liner is in, you can take off the blue strip for the double side. Now that we got that in there, we can start putting our duct tape pieces in there. And what I do normally is I fold this in half like this. Just something like that. And I stick it to the double side like this. All right, so after you're done, guys, you should have like a little bit of a, a liner inside this tire. And uh, this is just duct tape and that two-sided tape. So it's, you know, fairly thick. And it's definitely going to keep those studs from poking through and hitting your tube. And you don't have to make your liner as thick as I do. I just don't want to take any chances of those studs poking through. You could just use a folded up duct tape and stick it to the inside of your uh, tire. Just whatever you got to do to keep those studs from poking into your tube. There's many different things you can do. You can get an old inner tube and put that underneath it. Uh, there's all kinds of things you could do. Just keep in mind that the thicker you make that liner, the harder it is going to be to get the tube in and the tire on, but it is possible. So I've got it all done. We got the studs mounted. So we'll see how this does on the ice tomorrow. The next day. Okay guys, it's the next morning. Just loading up the tea bag. Make sure you take some uh, extra tubes. 
And just for good measure, we're gonna take the uh, Schwalbe Marathon tire just to be on the safe side. All right, now we got the tire attached to the backpack, so we're good there. You can definitely feel the resistance, guys. It feels like it is definitely harder to push this tire down the road. All right, guys. These areas right here are solid sheet ice. Let's see if the bike slips in me. I felt my back tire slipping. But like I said yesterday, that's recoverable. And it was. So do the studs actually help? Yes, they do. Um, how effective are they? That's another story altogether. As you saw the scratches in the ice with the studs, they do grip into the ice. There's no doubt about that. That gives you a little bit more traction than you normally would have. So yes, they do do something. And yes, they are somewhat effective. But let's be honest, guys. It didn't take me much force at all to scratch those studs against the ice like that. So to be 100% honest with you, you have to still ride very easy. Yes, the studs will prevent some falls. They're not going to prevent all falls. If you lean just a little too hard or you're going a little too fast and you turn just a little too sharp, you are going to slide even with studs. It's going to happen. Now see, I think the rest of my ride, besides those sections right there, the rest of my ride is going to be perfectly dry concrete. That's what you don't want to ride your studs on. See? <laughs> right here, these are like the slick spots. Now, when I was riding across this, my back tire, I felt it sliding. But you could see right here where the, uh, the stud slid. Now, I was able to stay upright. So, yes, they do work. But I did slide. Look at that. Now, bear in mind, guys, I was not going fast when this happened. I was barely moving along. And I slid. Now, I was trying to make it slide. Let's be fair. I was trying to make it slide. But... I wasn't really putting that much force on the handlebars because let's just face it, I don't want to fall over and hurt myself. <laughs> but the whole idea is that these studs are going to give you superior traction. And do they? Like I said, they still slide. You can see it's sliding and I'm not putting much force on the handlebars, guys. And you can see like maybe two or three or four marks right here. Now I know these aren't very scientific tests, in order to push it to the limit, I would have to literally push it to the point where I'm gonna fall over. And I don't wanna do that. My knee is still hurting from the last time I fell over. But the studs do work. They do, okay? I'm not taking anything away from studs. They do work. They will prevent some falls. The operative word being some, okay? You are gonna have those situations when you're going a little bit faster than I was. You're gonna have those situations when you're putting a little bit more of a leaning force on the bike. And in these situations, like right here, where it's extremely icy, that force is gonna overcome the grip of those studs. Because you gotta figure, guys, only like four or five studs are hitting the ground at any given time. And if you're turning, maybe even less than that. So you gotta figure that that's not much traction. Now it is some traction. It is a little bit of extra traction that you normally would not have. So yes, they do do something. They're just going to give you that, just that hair of extra traction to prevent some falls. You still have to ride on ice like your butthole's puckered. If you're a Brompton owner and you ride in icy conditions, are a set of Schwalbe winter studded snow tires worth purchasing? I don't know.
Okay guys, I posed a few questions at the beginning of this video about the Schwalbe Marathon winter tires. And we're gonna go ahead and answer those questions right now. The question number one is, are these things any good? <laughs> the answer to that question is, eh. I wouldn't go as far as to say that they're complete crap, but I also wouldn't say that they're great. So I'm kind of giving it an iffy rating. They're okay. The second question that I posed that we are going to answer is, do they do what they're intended to do? And I would say, yes, they do. They definitely do grip in ice. Maybe not to the level people think. I think a lot of people have an unrealistic expectation at what studs actually do. I think a lot of people think they can ride normally if they have studs. That's not the case, okay? But I think for what they are and how they're designed, I think they do do what they're intended to do. And the third question I posed was, are these tires worth buying? Well, for me, no, they're not worth buying. They're more trouble than they're worth. Like I said at the beginning of this video, uh, constantly having to dismount and mount your tires. You can't roll on them. Um, increased resistance when you're riding, increased noise. Um, just, there's lots of different things. and. There's lots of different downsides to these tires and I just per personally to me, I don't think they're worth buying, but that's just me. You might have a different opinion. You might think that they're worth it and that's up to you. That's up to you to decide. Okay guys, so if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment and question section. If you have any experience with the Schwalbe Winters, let me know down in the comment section as well. I'd be glad to see what other people have gone through. Leave a like on the video if you like it guys and I will talk with you on the next one. Bye-bye.